Hey, hi everyone, this is Gail Bottomley from gailbottomleyonline.com. Keep it simple, that's me, and uh, today I want to show you how you can simply <laughs> add uh, Facebook comments to your site. Now this is a very, very cool feature, so I'm going to show you what I mean by that, so just watch here and you will see. Now on my website here, which is the gailbottomleyonline.com site, you'll see that there, now if you come down here, we'll scroll, 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 and at the end of it, you will see this here, which looks just like Facebook, right? So here's what happens. So people read the blog post, and then they can make a comment in here, and then the amazing thing that happens is that this, the comment that they put in here, will appear on their wall. Isn't that cool? So other people get to see this and have access to it, and can click on it. Let me show you Jeanette's here. So we click on there, takes us to her website, and there, right there, on her wall of her uh, Facebook is what she's written, and the link back to my site, and a link to that particular um, um, blog post. Very cool, isn't it? So it gives me a bit of a link and a bit of a backlink, so I'm pretty excited about that. Now the other good news with it is you can pick up lots of new friends because, let me show you, this person here, um, I'm not even a friend of, see? Not even a friend, and yet um, he's written a comment on my website and I can now go and um, add, him as, add, add him as a friend and how cool is that? So this is a fantastic feature and um, I'm just going to show you right now, you'll see there's lots of comments here, I'm going to show you right now how to create this so you can put one on your blog or you can put it on your HTML site as well so it doesn't really matter. So let's go and create this. Now some people don't do this because they find it too difficult and, and uh, Facebook have not done a good job in explaining how this works so let's go and um, show you. First place you've got to go is developers.facebook.com forward slash plugins. I will also give you these addresses on my blog post so you don't have to be worried too much about this. I will give you them and also put them on the YouTube link as well. Now what we're looking for is this one here which is comments. So here's the first thing you do, you click on there. Now what it wants us to do now is it wants our unique ID. Of course we don't have one because we need to create an app so that we can get a unique ID. Now they haven't explained things very care uh, very well here so that's why so many people don't use it because they don't understand how all this works. So what we've got to do now is go from here which you can go click on there or you can go the other way and I'll give you the link for it to go to uh, this place here to create an app and this is developers.facebook.com forward slash setup and as I said I will give you all those details. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the Facebook plugin to this particular site of mine. So what we're going to do is just going to grab this. Now I'll show you what how this works. So for the top one, which we're going to come back here, site name, you mustn't, you must not add any extra things. So you don't need anything at the front. So if we go to the front, it's just Facebook fan page book dot com, and you'll notice that at the end there's nothing but in this next one this is very important and let me show you what happens here now you need the entire address the whole address and also I'm going to add a www into there as well just to be safe and have it all there now here's the thing right at the end now you'll see there's a little uh, forward slash there you must have that it has to be there or it will not work so please make sure that you have all that correct. Now hopefully at a press of a button uh, we should be able to create the app. Let's try it shall we? Okay it says name contains restricted characters or words. Um, I think it's because it has Facebook in there. So I might go and find another website to do. So just half a mo I'll come right back to you. Okay, so that's a little lesson, and uh, I think um, I haven't tested this one. What I'm going to do is use this website instead, and um, I'm going to put it under this particular post here. So this is 
this is a different website, but uh, it would appear that if you use anything with the words Facebook in it, then it's not going to work. So what I've done is fixed it all up and done exactly as I've done before, but just using a different website. And we'll go create app and uh, see it works just fine. So now what we've got to do is put in the little code here. Wintry, oh my goodness, I'm not sure what that is. So um, anyway, we'll try SAID because it looks like that, doesn't it? So let's have a look. Ah, woohoo! And now we have it. We have created an app. How clever will you be when you have done that? Now, here is the ID. And you'll notice that over here it asks for a unique ID. And over here it's called an app ID. How complicated is that? So what we're going to do is we're just going to copy that. Okay, we're going to put it in our notepad. We'll just leave it there. Excellent. So now we have it all here. We have the code. We've created the app. So now we have to whip back over here. We can pop this in here. Paste. Excellent. So now we've done that. And now what we need is the code. So we'll click on here and get the code. And now we have the code. So we'll click on that. Copy it. Paste that into here as well. And uh, that will be done. And then we'll go OK. And once we've done that, this is the part that people get confused about and don't do because they don't realize they have to. So after you've done that and you've got the code, you must click on this here. So we'll click on it. And what happens now is it takes us to this page here. JavaScript SDK. Now, what you have to do here, see there's two lots of code, that one and then this one. This is the code you need. So what we need to do now is we need to copy it. So we'll copy all that code, copy. And what we're going to do is paste it back into here, into our notepad. So we'll hit enter, paste it in. Now, you think you're finished, right? But you're not quite. You are almost there. Now let me show you what you have to do next. And if you don't do it, it won't work. So we have our ID here. Copy the ID. And you will see right here it says your app ID. So what you need to do is you need to delete that out. And you have to add your um, special ID in there. And that's it. So you pop that in there. Paste it in. And that's the code. So this is what we need. So let's take it, copy it, and um, we'll take it over here to our site, this one here. And we're going to put it right here in this. So we need to click over to the HTML source code, basically HTML code rather. Scroll right to the bottom, hit enter, and paste that in here. And hopefully, Fingers crossed when we update, hopefully that will all be there. So let's have a look and see if it's worked, shall we? View post. Hopefully it's all there. Let's scroll down and see. Just got to give it a moment to come in. Aha, so there it is here. See? Isn't that amazing? So now I'll put something in here. Yes, I just created a, um, or whatever, comment friends plugin for Facebook. Can't remember what it is actually. So, anyway, we'll just do that. We we'll go post, and there it is there. It's appeared there. Now, if we go over here to my Facebook, We'll go Profile, and there it is right there. Yes, I just created a Comment Friends plugin for Facebook. There it is there. So I'm just going to delete that out for the moment. Remove Post, and I'll write something more intelligent in there in a moment. But there you go. So that isn't too difficult, is it? So there it is there, all set up for you on here. I need to refresh this one, but it's all here. How excellent and easy is that once you know how. So I'll put all the, uh, all the correct um, 
web address is there for you so you too can do this the simple and easy way so that's how to add Facebook comments to your site and this is Gail Bottomley from gailbottomleyonline.com enjoy it and leave me a comment and tell me what your thoughts are thank you and have a good day